Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting. Hello Internet World, Johnny R. here, welcome to Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. One of Nintendo's first uh, mature rated titles. It's really cool, I miss this game, I've finally got a chance to play it again and I'm really excited. So let's get started. Okay, memory card, good. Flesh, bone, bound together with the oddest magical incantation. This wretched book is where it all began so long ago. Before time. Before humanity. I am Dr. Edward Roivas. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. This is not my story, nor even the story of the Roivas family. It is the story of humanity. Like it or not, believe it or not, as you will. Your perceptions will not change reality, but simply color it. Humanity has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia. Ignorant of so much, and dependent on so few. The Guardians grow restless. Their time once again near. Whether by fate or misfortune, my family has crossed their path. And they didn't take kindly to it. <sighs> Their attention turns to my granddaughter. For she is the last of my line. And the last hope for humanity. I forgot what to do. So it's like Resident Evil tank controls? I don't remember. <sighs> uh... Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Barely see anything, huh? Um, oh, there we go. Oh crap! Oh. Alexandra Roivas. Um, yeah, who's this? This is Inspector Legrasse of the Rhode Island Police. I'm sorry to disturb you, but there's been an accident with your grandfather. I'll be on the next flight out. Miss Roivas, I'm pleased to meet you. I trust you had a pleasant trip? Um, yes, I suppose so, considering. Yes, my condolences. This is most unpleasant. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Yes, it is. Can we get this over with, please? Of course. <laughs> this way. But I must warn you, it's not a pleasant sight. <laughs> I'm afraid there's not much to see. Miss Roivas, is that your grandfather, Edward? Yes, it's him. He's wearing our family ring. <laughs> I don't understand. Why are you showing me this? Can't you check dental records or something? What is wrong with you? I'm... I'm sorry. It's my job, lady. You're the only living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no head. No, none of this makes sense. There's no sign of intrusion, and there was certainly a lot of force used here. 
I have never seen anything like this in my 20 years on the force. We have no evidence except for the body, and what's left doesn't say much. Oh, we don't have a single clue. Well, you better find out who did this. I'm not leaving Rhode Island until you do. There must be some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. I want answers. So do I. I wish I had some. Shocked by her grandfather's mysterious death and frustrated at the incompetence of local police, Alex vows to uncover the truth. She decides to search the mansion, the place where Edward conducted his research. If there was a tie to his past and possibly a tie to his murderer, it would be here. Hmm. Really dark in here. The last weak rays of sunlight fight for the Shroud of Darkness. It lends an eerie feel to the last few weeks' events. As the sun sets, Alex will be alone in this house, with nothing but the spirits of old for her company. All right, let me try something. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's like really dark. Oh, that's much better. That is weird. Over here? Last week, right? Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm. Portraits of the ancestral Revias line line the foyer walls. Their faces reveal a dark, brooding edge. There's something about each one that gives the viewer an unsettling feeling. <laughs> Feels like I'm playing a TTRPG, right? Okay. Don't leave the room just yet. I want to explore. Detail. A beautiful carriage clock. The hands appear to be stuck, yet the clock continues to tick. With the time term... Time permanently set to 3.33. There's a key in the back of the clock, presumably, for winding it. Should Alex take a look at the key? Yes. Alex picks it up from the desk clock and pulls the key from it. However, there is something odd about the key. It isn't for winding at all. It looks like a dresser key. Cool. Is that it? Is that the same thing? Unsettling feeling? Yep. Ugh. So weird. Okay. Anything here? Nope. Nothing here. All right, start room one. It's like a kitchen of some kind. What's that? A wooden plaque is fastened to the door, taking the place of a lock. A colored sigil is carved into the wood above a wide slot. The slot is just wide enough to insert a narrow blade. Hmm. Interesting. table okay so I came from there so that door oh that just leads here well that makes it easy it's a study grand piano stands here awaiting the hands of a decent musician 
Unfortunately, Edward never really lived up to that description, and as such, the piano fell into disuse. Oh. Oh, that whispering. What is that? It's kind of weird. The illustration features a collection of strange line designs related to each other in a cylindrical manner. There appears to be some significance to it, but it isn't particularly evident. Table is set for one. Alex's grandfather. Edward's private nature meant that he never had any, many visitors, and this is the only evidence of it. Okay. Next room. Door is locked. Okay. Makes it easy. Ah, here we go. Library. Oh. Oh. In the warm glow of the candlelight, a revised family tree hangs from the wall. Shadows flitter across its surface, obscuring the detail. If one looks closely, the family's secrets are revealed. through the books. Alex sees it placed differently than all the others as if drawing attention to itself. Curious, she examined. Upon the inside cover, shaky handwriting, shapes numbers 333. She replaces the book. Okay. The books in this corner seem to focus on the supernatural. Writings of Poe, Lovecraft, the poetry of Blake, the art of Bosch, everything is tied to ethereal horror or fantasy. It's all here, reference to the library to the arcane. Was this Alex's grandfather's secret hobby? Desk. Nothing. Very weird. This looming grandfather clock seems to stand ominously in the corner, gazing on an empty room with almost patriarch patriarchal air. Patriarchal. It, you know, use left and right to adjust the clock hands. Should Alex adjust the clock hands? Yeah. Too far. Uh, one. There we go. page set inside a glass frame hangs on the wall. An insane scribbling covers a page, incomprehensible to Alex. Perhaps if Alex had some type of kind of tome, it could be deciphered. Yeah. So many things in here. This gothic cathedral is silhouetted against the stark light. The image is vicious and devoid of subtlety. Every brushstroke echoes a spike of architecture, imbuing a violent feeling as though the building itself is a harsh imposition on reality. A grim picture, indeed. Well, it's glowing, so let's read it. Large leather-bound antique book rests upon the clutter desk. Should Alex read the book? Technically, no, but let's do it. Oh. Uh-oh. Ugh. Sorry if that's loud. I had no knowledge of what was to come, nor did I care. How the knowledge changed me, it will also change you. As you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. You too will come to understand. 
or you will perish. To think that once I could not see beyond the veil of our reality. To see those who dwell behind. My life now has purpose, for I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. I was once a fool. Are they Romans? Cool. Where is Quies Candamest? Where is Conservandine? Facusatis aquae sumat, et animus eorum confirma. Pugna huis, dia sit modo prima multarum, si ingeptum conficiamus. Quam primum, Centurio Augustus. Wolo rest I would like to compliment you once more on your battle tactics. Our enemies did not have a chance. Do you believe that it really exists, Centurion? I do not doubt our Emperor's beliefs, or his orders. But if we are to retrieve the artifact, then we must be strong and patient. He's a Centurion, right? I think. Uh, I'm not sure the rank, I forget. The dais on the floor is finely crafted, inlaid with gold and gems that Pius can't identify. A strong linear design is situated in the middle, is equally unknown to the Roman soldier. Ladder leads into the dank heart of the labyrinth. Danger lurks beneath, yet Pius's courageous resolve does not buckle. Should Pius climb down the ladder? Sure. Oh, stone. <laughs> he got jump scared. Huh? All right, let's go. <laughs> oh. They were right to make him a centurion. Holy crap. Alright. Stone. Strange granite block lies on the floor. That was cool. Oh, more. Oh. 
Alright. Finish him off. Cool. Give me that. Not entirely sure what they're used for, but... Got it. No, no, no. Ow. Stuck. Oh. Life energy takes damage. I know how to play a game. Ow. Oh, there's a lot of them. Can they hit each other? <laughs> Oh, he's tired. There we go. so bad. Oh. Oh, there we go. Blue. That was kind of scary. Oh. Ooh, oh, I'm hitting the wall. That random freezes, that's kind of weird. Why is it freezing? That's scary. Alright. Oh, something's here. I like this camera angle, I can't see. Oh. Whoa, there's a lot of them. Ow. Ow. Darn it, no. Ah. He just killed him. supposed to do. This wall is prominently decorated with a strange line symbol carved into the granite. Cut into the wall is a square hole lined with scratches as though something had been removed from it. Hmm. This puzzle ain't too hard. There you go. And now red. Green. Very good. And purple. Oh, there's a locked door over there. Okay. Time to get moving. Uh oh. We're gonna 
fight it. Oh, Pius, you must prove your worth by destroying the statue. Pressing R will enable Pius to attack to select which target to attack. Releasing R slightly, then pressing it again will cycle between multiple targets. Pius can also attack specific body parts while locked onto an enemy. Moving the stick and pressing A. Up to attack the head and attack the arms. Oh. Okay. So. Oh. Okay, so. Head. Arm. Arm. Body. Well, that'll come in handy. So, what? Like, enemies got weapons or something? I can just, like, lop off their arms. Uh, uh head. What's going on? Oh. Haha. <laughs> that was cheap. Ow. Oh, he can't see me. He doesn't have a head. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, oops. Oh, that got weird. Anyone else? No? Okay. Uh. A button attached to a small pylon softly illuminates the room. A bizarre energy seems to radiate from it. Should Pius push the button? Alright, let's go. Oh. Watch why this isn't just teleport, it's just a microwave and he just vaporizes and dies. <laughs> it's like, oh crap. Huh? strange sculpture resembling a red clawed worm mysteriously floats above the pedestal. Should Pius claim this artifact? No. Shaped like a delicate dome, a pale blue statuette floats gracefully above the pedestal. Should Pius claim this artifact? No. An effigy resembling a warped angel shaped from a dark green emerald. Hovers effortlessly above the pedestal. Should Pius claim the artifact? Uh, no. Well, my favorite color is green, so I'm gonna go with green. So I guess that's the only way to continue. Alright. Uh oh. That can't be good. Uh oh. That ain't good. Well, then again, he was telling his troops about the artifact, so maybe this is what he the wanted. Arms have passed since then, and I have learned much. I was once as naive as a child, but now my mind is sharp. With the power of Zalatath, I can now read the thoughts of others and make them raving mad with a mere suggestion. Face me, and you shall surely perish. Oof. Alex has acquired the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Oh boy. That uh, sounds great. Whew. Well, I'm going to call it a part for here. This is Johnny R. signing off for the night. Have a good night, everyone. How do I save? Okay, good. 